very good morning children so today i come down with a new lesson that is lesson number 6 aladdin and the magic lamp so this is a beautiful lesson about a boy and his magic lamp what all the magic lamp did and what all the boy also did like that okay so come down to the textbook take uh, take out your textbook with a uh, pencil with you okay if any hard words are there you can mark in that and you can go write it uh, make a practice of that children okay yes i'll start explaining the lesson now so keep your finger on the lesson and listen to the lesson very carefully children okay long long ago there lived a arabia a poor tailor in arabia the name the place name is arabia a poor tailor was living there okay his name was musta okay very good morning children okay today i have come down with a new lesson that is lesson number 6 aladdin and the magic lamp okay so listen to the lesson very carefully it is a nice lesson about a boy and the magic lamp what all the magic lamp did for him okay so how it helped him okay like that okay so yes come towards the textbook so i'll start explaining the lesson go through the textbook take a pencil with you and if you find any hard words in that you can underline and make a practice of writing that 10 to 15 times children okay so get prepared for your fa4 and sa2 also children okay yes shall i start the lesson now so you can see to the board that is subject is english lesson number 6 aladdin and the magic lamp okay long long ago there lived in arabia a poor tailor okay in the place named arabia a poor tailor lived his name was mustafa okay he had a son named aladdin aladdin was a clever boy clever means intelligent boy okay but he was very lazy very lazy means not even doing any work just sitting and spending time here and there and playing with the friends those things all he was doing that is lazy okay he did not obey his parents so see he did not obey his parents means he doesn't uh, didn't want to obey his parents only that only lazy means sitting here and there wasting the time and playing with his friends those things all and keep on roaming somewhere else those things all are wasting the time okay he wasted all his time playing with his friends okay see he wasted all his time playing with his friends mustafa was worried about his son so father father is named mustafa here so he was very much worried about his son in course of time in course of time means in little time little of the time he fell ill and died okay father was fell ill and he passed away passed away means he died so but aladdin did not change his ways he did not change his ways after his father's death also okay one day while aladdin was playing with his friends in a market place a stranger came up to him and asked my dear boy are you the son of mustafa okay a stranger a stranger means a unidentified person okay so unidentified person came near him and asked are you the son of mustafa so he replied yes i am replied aladdin my fa but my father is dead so he is telling that i am aladdin but my father is not there he passed away so i am very sorry to hear that said the stranger i am your uncle want you take me home so the stranger is asking i am your uncle uh, will uh, don't you will you not take me to home so aladdin took the stranger home his mother did not recognize the man okay perhaps he is a distant relative means distant relative means he is a far relative of his father who is the father mustafa okay so mustafa's far relative the stranger is she thought she gave him food and drinks so then she told him all about aladdin so 
mother gave him food water everything she served him for the stranger and then she told him all about aladdin allow she told mother told about him that he is very lazy and he is very intelligent but he doesn't do any kind of work so i am very fed up of my son please take your, teach him good way okay like that okay turn to the page 60 children come to page number 60 now come to page number 60 okay the lesson i'll continue again okay yes go through the textbook again the stranger said don't worry i shall take care of him and make him a fine gentleman okay so the stranger is saying don't worry of anything i will make him a gentleman okay he bought new clothes and some gifts for aladdin and his mother okay the stranger bought some gifts and new clothes for aladdin and his mother the mother and son began to trust the stranger so the mother and the son both of them began to trust the stranger trust means uh, believing the stranger okay they thought that he is a good person but uh, see after i'll uh, read out the lesson for you you will come to know who is the stranger okay the next morning the stranger took aladdin out of the city okay out of the city means somewhere in the like forest kind of place okay where the rocks will be there no rocks and mountains will be there no that kind of place children okay little did aladdin know that the stranger was a magician okay little did aladdin know that the stranger was a magician aladdin came to know that he is a small magician okay you must know do as i say so the magician is telling you must know do as i say then he brought some small wood twigs okay twigs means a kind of a small small sticks children sticks or it may be a thread okay that is called as twigs small wood sticks for example it is small wood sticks and made a fire okay and made a fire small fire they kept all the leftover sticks what all were dry sticks were have fallen in the near the mountains no he arranged it and he started putting a small fire there okay he said some magic words and threw a white powder in the fire okay he said some magic words and threw white powder in the fire so once he threw the powder what happened a sound of bang okay b a n g they are given you there in the big letters they are given you the bang sound came there was a loud sound the big rock had moved aside so what happened once he uh, did that magic uh, words so one rock big rock started to moving that side okay means a hidden rock inside a hidden rock some many precious things were there that was covered with a big rock so when the magic words were told that rock started to moving there okay like that okay the big rock had moved aside aladdin saw a dark tunnel inside under the ground so tunnel what do you mean by tunnel children tunnel is a place like uh inside nothing will be visible full total of dark it will be you need to take a light inside for example i'll give you an example uh people if you travel in metro children if you go with your dad or mom in metro you can go it is a underground thing where you can see it, it goes inside a tunnel totally it will be dark inside but the metro will be moving inside very nice it will be okay and one more place is there that is the kaban park kaban park in kaban park the toy train is there if you go in a ride in a toy train you can see a small tunnel will come in the middle of the park inside that the train will be going that is called as a tunnel children okay under the ground means below the ground okay they will do a tunnel now go along the tunnel till you reach a small garden so magician is telling keep on going inside the tunnel 
okay you will reach a small garden there the trees there do not bear fruits the trees do not bear fruits me if you see a normal tree what you see you will see the small small fruits there but in this lesson the tree is bearing not a fruit it is bearing je precious gems on that okay precious gems they are precious gems on them gems means a kind of diamond thing children diamond gold what all is there precious gems it's a costly gem it will be very expensive in the market okay like that that is the precious gem on them okay it has a great value outside take as many as you want the magician is telling take as many as you want so what he does he takes all the gems and he will put it inside his pocket okay so all want is the old copper lamp that is in the garden so magician is using him magician is using him for his work what he wants he wants a old copper lamp that is in the garden said the magician aladdin was afraid of entering the tunnel aladdin was afraid to entering the tunnel tunnel the magician handed him a ring and said wear it it will protect you so magician had a ring in his ring finger so he gave that ring to aladdin he said that wear it so you will be protected from that okay and it will protect you okay aladdin entered the tunnel and soon reached a beautiful garden okay he filled his pockets with his jewels that grew on the tree what i said before so whatever outside tree what you see it gives you flower it gives you fruits but here in this story it is giving precious of gems and jewels okay so what he did he took he filled his pockets with jewels that grew on the tree children okay he found the old copper lamp and returned along the tunnel so what the magician had told him you should get me that copper lamp from the garden he said so he took, got the copper lamp he was returning back outside he was coming back outside after taking all the gems and jewels what all was there and he filled in his pocket and he came out with the lamp so as soon as he put his head out of the tunnel the magician cried ha give me the lamp so see the magician is so crooked means he started asking give me the lamp so help me out first said aladdin holding back the lamp so aladdin is asking help me out take me outside of this tunnel then only i'll give you the lamp he is telling see he is intelligent he is using his intelligence now okay give me the lamp first growled the magician give me the lamp first means he is growled the magician mean he is telling uh, means he is making a kind of sound mm, give me or else i will kill you like that okay no cried aladdin let me get out of here first so he is telling let me get out of here first then only i will give you the magician became furious furious means he became still more angry so he is telling will you give me or not or else i'll kill you here only he threw some powder on the ground and said some magic words at once the large rock rolled across and closed the opening see the furious magician what he did he got more angry and what he did he start taking that white powder and uh, told like some magic words and you put it on the ground the rock closed of the tunnel so well, which was open now it is closed okay said the some magic words at once the large rock rolled across and closed the opening aladdin called out loudly but no sound came out so aladdin was screaming shouting if somebody locks you somewhere if they close your eyes and if they lock you somewhere what do you do you keep on screaming you keep on starting crying you'll tell me help me help me like that you keep on shouting no like that come to page number 61 children yeah i'll come one more continuation is there
yes page number 61 again aladdin lay in the darkness for two days and nights okay so he started staying there only in the darkness for two days and nights he wept and wept wept means he's crying and crying and crying kept on kept on crying children nobody came to help him in the dark tunnel nobody was there to help him and he was far away from his house okay so far away from his house means he was somewhere in the forest okay if you hear or if you scream if you shout also nobody can hear you okay Finally, what he did, he wiped off his tears with his hand. He wiped off his tears in his hand. As he did this, the ring rubbed against his cheek. The ring, what he was having in his ring finger, it rubbed his cheek like this. While you are wiping your tears, what happens? You keep on rubbing like this, like this. No, so the ring touched his cheek and it was rubbing, when he was rubbing like this, Within a second, there was a cloud of smoke and a dark genie began to appear from the ring. See what the magic happened here. The magician had given a ring for him. From that ring, he is getting a genie. Genie is a, a kind of, uh, what they tell children? Genie is a kind of person who helps you in everything. Okay, it's a magical being, the magical person, what magician had come, no? This one is a uh, magic man. Whatever you ask him, whatever wish you have, he will satisfy your, he will uh, satisfy your wish children. Okay, like that. Okay. Yes. So finally, the ring rubbed against his cheek. Within seconds, there was a cloud of smoke. So once he rubbed the cheek, a white color smoke came out of the ring and a dark genie, a dark genie means it will be in a black color, okay, began to appear from the ring. It said, I am the genie of the ring. Ask what your wish master. So he is a servant and he is asking Aladdin. Aladdin will become a master for him now, okay. So whatever Aladdin tells, the genie will keep doing for him, helping him out in all the ways. Okay. I am the genie of the ring. Ask what your wish, master. Aladdin was speechless. Okay. He was shocked seeing the genie. Okay. But he was also shaking with fear. He was shaking with fear means once if you see anybody in front of you, like a strange person, if you see what happens, you start shivering, your hands will shiver, your legs will shiver and you sweat, everything will start sweating for you. You get a kind of uh, fear like that, no? Okay, like that. After a while, he became bold and said, please get me out of this place. Okay, he's telling. After a while, he became bold. Means Bold means he got the courage. He's telling, please get me out of this place. And in a moment, he, he was standing outside in the open air, okay, in the fraction of seconds. As he told, immediately he came out of the open air. The magician was now where to, nowhere to be seen. The magician was nowhere to be seen means he was not there anywhere. He had gone with the lamp in his hand, okay. The magician was nowhere to be seen with the lamp in his hand. Aladdin ran as fast as his legs could take him and reached home. What he did? Once the genie left him outside, he started running from there. So as soon as possible, how fast he could run? So fast he started running and he reached home. He told his mother all about the wicked magician. Wicked magician. Wicked means bad person. So the stranger was a very bad person. What he did? He sent him inside the tunnel. Uh, what all work he wanted to make from him, uh, from Aladdin. He uh, took that, uh, he made him to do that. No? Okay. So he wanted for, for him to use for his work. That's all. Okay. So all about the wicked magician. She was happy to see her son and she 
she shed tears of joy see from past two to three days aladdin was not there mother is alone at home and she was were very very much worried about his son where he has gone where he has gone he was tensed and worried about his son okay so after he sees after she sees her son she started getting tears of joy she her tears of joy means after seeing him she felt so happy oh my son has come back so in that uh, happiness also some people will start crying like that okay the next morning aladdin was very hungry his mother said sadly son there is nothing to eat and we have no money to buy anything okay like that turn to the next page children 62 the lesson is little big big okay i'll just explain you okay come to level page number 62 so here again i am an old lamp said aladdin we shall clean it and sell it in the market in the olden days what they were doing people whenever they were not having money properly in their hand what they were they were doing means they were uh, selling the things what all were there at home no the lamp kind of things and the big big vessels what they were having that was all precious means they were uh, giving in the market and buying taking money for living means for living means for uh, eating food for buying things like those things okay so we shall clean it and sell it in the market aladdin fetched the copper lamp and began to polish it so aladdin what he did he fetched the copper lamp and began to polish it polish it means so he is cleaning the lamp okay like that suddenly a thick cloud of smoke came out of the lamp and a big genie appeared again see this was first one was the ring what he was wearing in his hand the ring in the ring also rubbed and a small dark genie came now here suddenly a thick cloud of smoke cloud of smoke smoke mix it is a white smoke what you see so how you see the clouds no the same kind of thing only came out of the lamp and a big genie appeared this was big one a big one what appeared okay i am the genie of the lamp what is your wish master okay so it is asking i am the genie of the lamp what is your wish master so he is asking what is your wish tell me i will uh, satisfy your wish like that okay bring us some food aladdin said the next moment there appeared a delicious feast before aladdin and his mother see the genie what it did bring us some food means the magical work the magic uh, man a genie is a magical magical uh, person no so once uh, he is asking bring us some food means aladdin said the next moment if we do like this variety of food came near on his table like that appeared a delicious feast before aladdin and his mother they ate to their hearts contents they ate to their hearts content means they ate fully completely satisfied the food was so delicious means they ate completely it was very nice and fully satisfied children if you eat if you go to a restaurant what you do if you like the food you will eat fully completely you will clean the plate like that okay they also did the same thing they cleaned the plate everything neatly it was very delicious like that then they wished for good clothes okay so after they eating the food they asked the genie to give them good clothes and a grand house and many other things the grand house and a many other things so the genie gave everything the genie sanctioned them the good food the good clothes and the grand house and many other things like that okay whenever they needed anything they rubbed the lamp the genie got them whatever they asked for so whenever they want something they were rubbing the lamp 
the genie got them whatever they asked for aladdin and his mother lived in a very comfortable life so the genie gave them all the comforts okay so they were living a very comfortable life a few months later aladdin happened to catch a glimpse of sultan's daughter as she rode along the streets aladdin had never seen such a beautiful girl before and he fell in love with her right then he told his mother that he wanted to marry the sultan's daughter okay a few months later though everything was going normal children so one fine day aladdin happened to catch a glimpse of sultan's daughter sultan's daughter is a person like same like how uh, rich people will be there no like that only uh, the girl's father name is sultan okay so sultan's daughter as she rode along the streets she was uh, same thing as how aladdin was roaming on the streets no she was also going here and there buying something everything she was doing aladdin had never seen such a beautiful girl okay she was very very beautiful and pretty to see okay and she he fell in love with her right then so he started falling in love with her he told his mother that he wanted to marry the sultan's daughter so he is going to his mother and he is asking mother i want to marry that girl the girl is really so beautiful i am loving her so i want to marry her marry sultan's daughter so mother is telling you are neither famous nor rich the sultan will not agree to give his daughter in marriage to you said his mother so you are neither famous nor rich so mother is telling you are not a rich person you don't have anything that much if you want to ask sultan's daughter means you need to give a lot of gold you need to have a good beautiful house you have lot of things to give for to marry the sultan's daughter so what he did but we can ask the genie for any riches we like said aladdin so he, what he started uh, doing he started asking genie genie give me what all i need what all make me rich make me make me a rich person i want to marry sultan's daughter like that aladdin rubbed his lamp and the genie appeared he asked it to bring a carriage of rich clothes and expensive presents aladdin then went to visit the sultan to ask for his daughter's hand see what happened so in the olden days the people when they want to ask a girl for the marriage they need to give expensive things like uh, gold silver expensive clothes and those things all they were giving then only the king was giving her daughter to the uh, boy okay like that for his daughter's hand okay The sultan was pleased with Aladdin. Soon a grand wedding was arranged, and Aladdin was married to the sultan's daughter. Okay, the sultan was pleased with Aladdin. Sultan was uh, like uh, he felt, oh, so many things are there. He is such a rich person. So true, uh, really, he will look after my daughter very nicely. So. what he did immediately they arranged a uh, wedding and the grand wedding was went around okay aladdin was married to the sultan's daughter now aladdin had great riches a beautiful wife and of course his lamp but he never told his wife about the lamp see what happened he had all the riches all the things what all he wanted a good a beautiful house beautiful wife and uh, what all things he wanted um, nice clothes nice food everything genie was giving them like that a beautiful wife and of course his lamp but wife could uh, wife did not know about the lamp children okay so come to the next page page number 63 that is page number 
That's page number 63, children. Okay. Yes. You can see in the picture that is a Aladdin and the beautiful girl is standing there like that. The magician came to know all about Aladdin and the magic lamp. See that crooked uh, uh, stranger, the old magician you know, in the starting of the lesson, I told, no, the magician came to know all about Aladdin and the magic lamp. One afternoon when Aladdin was away, he came dressed as a peddler selling lamps. So he, uh, he was dressed up as a Peddler. Peddler means uh, selling the old things and giving the new things. Okay. Selling the small, small, uh, new, new things, children. If you give the old uh, item for them, they will give a new item for them. Same thing. They will give you a new thing for you. Like that. Old lamps for new. See, old lamps for new. He cried just outside Aladdin's house. He was standing near Aladdin's house only. And he was uh, particularly crying in front of Aladdin's house so that the wife will get that uh, mag magic lamp so that he can take and run away from there. Okay. Aladdin's wife saw the old lamp in their room. She wanted to exchange it for a bright new shining lamp. And she gave it to the magician and got a new lamp in return. See what the mistake she did. She didn't know about the real thing of the lamp what she did she wanted to buy a new lamp a beautiful lamp so what she did she took away the old lamp and she gave, gave it to the magician and bought a new shining lamp and she gave it to the magician and got a new lamp in return the magician was overjoyed to get the mag magic lamp the magician was overjoyed oh once you go uh, get a magic lamp what happens you will be so excited oh i got it i should thank god i got this no like that when aladdin returned he was shocked to see that his wife the palace and all that he had were missing see what happened the once the magic lamp he got the stranger person the magician was there no he was uh, taken away, the wife and the palace, everything were missing from there, okay? He felt miserable, okay? Then he had an idea, okay? Miserable means felt very unhappy, okay? Then he had an idea. He rubbed the ring on his finger. He started rubbing the ring on his finger. When the genie appeared, he said, bring my wife and my palace to me. So he is asking the dark genie, okay? The black genie is asking, bring my wife and my palace to me. So the genie is telling, I cannot do that master because I am not so powerful as the genie of the lamp. So genie is telling that I don't have that much power to bring back your wife and your palace. I am a small genie okay the big genie is inside the lamp okay said the genie of the ring then take me where my wife is said aladdin in a flash okay so the genie uh, aladdin is telling that take me to the place where my wife is said aladdin in a flash come to next page children 64 page number 64 I'll complete off the lesson now itself. Okay. Yes. Page number 64. Aladdin found himself in front of the magician's house. So Aladdin came, reached the magician's house. He quickly slipped into the house. He quickly slipped into the house means silently he came and he was hiding inside the house. He saw his wife in one corner of the room weeping. So he saw his wife in the corner of the room sitting and crying continuously. She is weeping. He handed a small bottle of a magic potion to her and whispered, pour some of this into the magician's drink tonight. Okay. This is a kind of solution, children. It is a kind of um, means uh, like a syrup example for a syrup you can take it as a syrup only 
while the magician is eating food or drinking water pour it inside the water so that he will sleep okay he will sleep for the long time okay like that you could have seen in the movies they will put a tablet in some milk or some juice what happens they will become unconscious and they will sleep for many hours like that okay so pour some this into the magician's drink tonight he will fall into a deep sleep okay then call out for me then you call out for me i will come and take you to my home back okay that night the princess slipped the potion into the magician's drink the magical drink it is a medicine and a magical drink children okay into the magician's drink the magical fell into the magician fell into a deep sleep once he uh, had that so what happened started uh, getting giddiness and slowly gradually slept off the princess then called aladdin in the princess called aladdin come inside the magician is sleeping nicely okay aladdin entered the house and searched for the lamp when he found it he rubbed it and summoned the genie take us back to our place okay rubbed it and summoned summoned means she is telling that to is giving a command take us back to the home like that okay take us back to our palace he said the genie of the lamp did as his master wished the genie of the lamp did as his master wished means so whatever the command he gave uh, aladdin gave no the genie did the work for his master and of course aladdin and his wife lived happily ever after okay so of course aladdin and his wife lived happily ever after so once they after going from that magician's place they lived happily thereafter so with the lamp they lived happily in the place where they were okay children so now i have completed this lesson uh, once again listen to it very carefully children okay uh, once the recording is given for you uh, once you are watching the online class again repeatedly if you don't understand it once again you play it record play the video and you can go through the lesson children okay yes i'll uh, give you a homework part just come down to the page number 65 the meanings are there i'll give you the meanings as a homework for you write it three times children yes so i have given you meanings from page number 65 you need to write it as three times okay i'll check the homework on the monday for you children okay i'll conclude my class here so i'll be giving the exercises in the next class in the offline class only i'll be giving you the exercises children okay so see you next see you in the next class children thank you so much children